one morning in the Hundred Acre Wood, Rabbit had put out some of his delicious vegetables for the enjoyment of everyone else. You know, Piglet, we certainly are fortunate that Rabbit has such tasty vegetables. <laughs> and he's so nice to share them with everyone. It seems like there should be some way to thank him. You mean besides eating them? Yes, Pooh. <gasps> Maybe we could give him something to recognize all his hard work. Hmm. Perhaps an award of some sort? Yes, that's it, Pooh. An award of some sort. Oh, that's a splendid idea, Piglet. And so Pooh and Piglet made Rabbit a very special award. Piglet worked very hard on printing just the right words. Gardener of the Year. Gardener of the Year. Oh, won't Rabbit be surprised when he finds his blue ribbon on his doorstep? Oh, yes, Piglet. Oh, come, let's go and leave it for him. And so Pooh and Piglet left the blue ribbon they had made at Rabbit's door. And later... Ah, let's see. Uh, two rabbit. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> that doesn't say who it's from, though. Probably another trowel catalog. <laughs> uh, what's this? Gardener of the Year. <gasps> oh, my. Me? Why, why, this is quite an honor. They, they don't hand out Gardener of the Year ribbons to just anyone. Oh, at last. Some much-deserved recognition for my fellow gardeners. <laughs> Whoever they are. Hello, Rabbit. Actually, I'd prefer if you'd call me Gardener of the Year. As you can see, I've been recognized as such. Oh, you're wearing the ribbon. Well, of course I'm wearing it. I, I assume I'll have to wear it for the entire year. How do you know about it? Well, Pooh and I... No need to say a word. News like this just gets around, I suppose. I suppose congratulations are in order. Yeah, nice going there, Fluffy Tail. Thank you, thank you. Who's the ribbon from, Rabbit? Well, actually... Who is it from? <laughs> Why, it's obviously from some very important gardening society or some such organization. <laughs> Note the fine quality of the material. <laughs> the handsome, if uh, somewhat awkward, lettering. You have to be quite special to receive an award like this. <laughs> Well, someone quite important thinks I'm important, too. They went to a lot of trouble to make sure that I knew I must be something special, or so it would appear. I'm not just garden variety, no, I'm gardener of the year. Gardener of the year, why look, it says so here. No need to dig around to find the gardener of the year. I'm way ahead in cabbage. My carrots can't be beat. My grass is always greener and looks good enough to eat. Nobody gardens better. In fact, I have no peer. I leave them green with envy because I'm gardener of the year. Gardener of the year. Gardener of the year. And you must all be thrilled for me. I'm gardener of the year. Now a hundred acres just won't do. I can plant a million or two. I'm afraid Rabbit's getting carried away. And he's only been gardener at a year for one day. Maybe it's time to throw in the trowel. Now that I'm important, I have better things to do than stand around here talking to folks the likes of you. Adoring fans await me. I can almost hear them cheer. I'll cultivate the following as gardener of the year. Gardener of the Year! Oh, think of my career! Fame just kind of grows on you as Gardener of the Year! I'll say it once again, in case it wasn't clear. I'm outstanding in my field, I'm Gardener of the Year! <laughs> oh dear, Pooh. Rabbit thinks someone else sent him that ribbon. Yes. It would appear that way, Piglet. Do you think we should tell him that we said it? Well, I don't see why, Piglet. He seems so very proud. I think it's nice. And Rabbit was very proud. And as the days went by, 
he grew prouder and prouder. Oh, hello, Rabbit. We were just having a picnic. Would you like to join us? A picnic? <laughs> you still have picnics, do you? Oh, how quaint. <laughs> well, I'm sure you understand that as Gardener of the Year, it wouldn't do for me to be seen at some little backwoods luncheon. Why, I'll probably be in line for any number of awards. Um, on behalf of myself, I want to thank the Gardening Academy for honoring me with this year's 24 Carat Carat. I'm almost speechless, uh, but not quite. Uh, first, Rabbit! Let me Rabbit! Say... Rabbit! Ah! What? Are you okay? Your eyes were doing a sort of funny rolling thing. Huh? Oh, well, I can't hang around with all of you and do nothing all day long. I, I've got to prepare. They may be calling for me at any second. Who are they? Um, is anyone else confused? Uh, probably, but it looks like this ribbon thing's really gone to old Bunny Boy's head, huh? I'm afraid we may have created something of a monster, Pooh. Oh, dear. Where, well, Piglet? Oh, no, Pooh. I, I mean, Rabbit is getting a bit too big for his britches, don't you think? Well, I don't believe he actually wears any Piglet. No, Pooh. I think we might have to tell Rabbit that we sent the ribbon. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? What? Rabbit, meanwhile, was busy preparing for bigger and better things. Huh. I wonder what he wants for this. Please, everyone, look around. Help yourself. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm just giving some of my old things away. I can't possibly take all of this with me. But, oh, where are you going, Rabbit? Ah, I've grown too big for this one garden wood. It's time I moved up to the Majors and took my place among the greats of gardening. Say, uh, does this baby recline? Oh, I won't forget you, of course. After all, each of you in your own small way has helped make me what I am today. Uh, oh, oh, one moment, Piglet. I'm listening to Rabbit's goodbye speech. No, Pooh. I think we should tell him now. You know, the ribbon. Oh, yes. Um, Rabbit, um... I don't think you should start giving away your things just yet. Uh, what do you mean, Pooh? It was Pooh and I, Rabbit. We made the ribbon. Oh, how sad. I know it must be difficult for you, but... These desperate attempts to keep me, really... Rabbit, Pooh and I made the ribbon for you and left it on your doorstep. You what? Well, I'm afraid so, Rabbit, but we did it to thank you for all your hard work in the garden. Th thank, thank, thank me? You mean I'm not Gardener of the Year? Well, you are to us, Rabbit. Yeah. Well, yes, oh, yes, yes, Rabbit. You mean no magazine covers? No guest lectures? No, no. 24 carat carat? <laughs> 24 carat carat? Oh, the shame. The humiliation. Okay, but what does this mean in terms of the easy chair? And so Rabbit went off to consider where his life would go from here and whether he could ever show his face in the wood again. But the next morning, something rather curious happened. When each of our friends emerged from their homes, they found wonderful ribbons of their very own. Look at me, bounce through it a year. <laughs> and I didn't even know I was nominated. <laughs> I'm the chipperest chirper. I got one too. Best in slow. Oh, it looks like we all got ribbons. We got ribbons too. We found them on our doorsteps. I got best honey eater. I'm so honored. Uh, hello, all. I, I see you all got your ribbons. You mean, uh, you made these rabbit? I did. At first, when I found out the truth yesterday, I... I felt very foolish. No, no, I, I know I was. I mean, uh, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, well, you all know that I was quite upset, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized what a 
What a great honor it was to receive a ribbon from my closest friends. Oh, I know I'm honorable. And that is the story of Rabbit's Blue Ribbon, in which he found that the awards that mean the most come from the people that know you the best. One fine morning, Piglet and Owl were having a wonderful time reading exciting stories. And so, with a tally-ho, ends our hero's adventure. Oh, Owl, that was an exciting story. Oh, <laughs> indeed it was. I wish the exciting things that happened in those stories would happen to me. Oh, <laughs> well now, Piglet, that's the wonderful thing about stories. They can take you places you might not ordinarily go. Why, you could even write your own story. Really? I could do that? Of course! That's what an author is. Someone who writes stories. Here now, let's think of a story we can write together. About a smallish pig, perhaps. Not unlike yourself. Is he named Piglet? If you'd like. Oh, my, yes, I would like. And what sort of adventure would you like to have, Piglet? Oh, perhaps something with a circus? I always dreamed of being in a circus. Is that possible? Anything is possible in a story. You make it up, and I'll write it. Oh, my. So let's see. Uh, I had always dreamed of joining the circus. Now, finally that dream was coming true. And so, with Owl's help, Piglet wrote an exciting adventure story about a smallish pig named Piglet who ran off to join the circus. When Piglet got home from Owl's, he was quite excited by the wonderful story they had written together. And as Piglet often did when he was excited, he decided to do some cleaning. Ah, uh, Piglet! Uh, Piglet! Hmm, he must be out. Oh, what's this? Uh, looks like Piglet's writing someone a letter. Always dreamed of joining the circus. Daring feats on the flying trapeze? <gasps> it's the circus life for me. Oh, dear. Piglet's running off to join the circus. Of course, Rabbit didn't realize that Piglet's writing about the circus was simply a made-up story. But, but, I'm telling you, I read the letter with my own eyes. Piglet's planning to run away and join the circus. Running away? Piglet? My little pig buddy? Well, that's terrible. I just can't believe Piglet would really move away from the Hundred Acre Wood. The best friend is always the last to know. I suppose this is my fault. Why? I don't know. Just usually seems to work out that way. Don't be ridiculous. It isn't anyone's fault. It's obviously all our fault. <gasps> what are we gonna do? Well, I propose we send someone to speak to Piglet and find out just how serious he is about this whole circus business. Well, maybe Pooh should go. He and Piglet are best friends. You know, you're right. I shall go and speak to him. And so off Pooh went to speak to Piglet. Ooh, so much spring cleaning to do. Must put away my mittens and scarves. Oh, um, uh, hello, Piglet. Oh, hello, Pooh. I couldn't help noticing that you're, um, putting things in uh, boxes. Yes, I am. Is there any uh, particular reason, uh, Piglet? I just think it's time, I suppose. Oh, yes, well, of course. Um, Piglet, I don't suppose there's anything that you'd like to, um, tell me? Like what, Pooh? Oh, I don't know, um, about the, uh, circus, for instance. Oh, I love the circus, Pooh. You do? Oh, 
You know, I, I never knew that about you, Piglet. Oh, yes, the clowns and the, and the elephants and the flying trapeze. But, but the circuses are usually quite far away, I would imagine. Oh, yes, very far away. Are you sure you want to do this, Pet? Yes, Pooh. If I don't do it now, then when? Oh, when indeed, Piglet. Well, I suppose I shall be going then. Goodbye, Piglet. Even though Piglet was only spring cleaning, to Pooh it looked as though his friend was packing to leave. Well, I'm afraid his mind is made up. He's off to join the circus. Ah, oh. 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 maybe the Hundred Acre Wood isn't exciting enough for Piglet. Not exciting? Why, it's a laugh a minute around here. Right, guys? <laughs> guys? Excitement! Well, we'll just have to show him how exciting things can be around here. <gasps> Someone's not missing any meals. <laughs> hey, Piglet. Up here, huh? donkey in a tree. Pretty exciting, huh? Piglet. 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 Sorry. Hi. Oh my, this suitcase is quite musty. Perhaps if I put it out in the sunshine for a bit, it will smell fresher. Oh. Uh, uh, hello there, Piglet. Oh, hello, Pooh. What are you doing? Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm being very exciting, of course. Well, I suppose. But uh, doesn't that make you dizzy? Oh, yes. Well, I better get back to work. Yes, well, goodbye. Oh, I don't think it's working. Piglet had his suitcase ready to go when I last saw him. So, I guess this circus thing is for real. What now? Hey, why can't we put on a circus? But, <gasps> I don't know. Why can't we? Do we need an elephant? Ooh, thank you for helping me write my story, Owl. <laughs> oh, don't mention it, Piglet. I quite enjoyed it. You know, it gets one thinking about things. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially Piglets. What's this? If it's a circus life you need With its excitement And its noise And sound and all the rest Then you're a lucky swine indeed For you have found the finest And you're finished with your quest Welcome, Welcome to, to the Hundred Acre Circus, circus. We'll knock you on your pink and fuzzy seat Yes, yes the Hundred Acre Circus The greatest show for miles around Yards around. Well, feet. Now, gentlemen and ladies, and the piglets too. It's showtime just for you. Oh, look up in the air. There's an elephant balancing there. High up on the wire. Yes, this nose is impressive. There's only one problem. It's starting to make me perspire. Oh, bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Jugglers, jugglers, where are the jugglers? Slip and step up in the air. Jay, where are the keys in there? Oh, your skull, here come the jugglers. It takes a little bit of skill. And a lot of luck. And no one went to duck. We are clowns, I'm sure you figured that. We slip and fall and make a hearty splat. We wear long shoes and drive a tiny car. And like most clowns, we're not as funny as we think we are. <laughs> Come and join the Hundred Acre Circus, the greatest show you'll see. As long as you don't look too far, the Hundred Acre Circus is the best one that we know. Come on and join our show, the Hundred Acre Circus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Does that mean you're not going to run off and join the circus? What? Oh, I'm not running off anywhere. What do you mean? Yeah, but, but what about the letter you wrote? You know, it's, a, it's the circus life for me and so forth. Oh, that wasn't a letter. That was a story I wrote with Owl. It turns out I'm an author. Right, Owl? <laughs> yes, indeed. And quite a good one, too. 
And as much as I like circuses, I wouldn't ever leave the Hundred Acre Wood. Hooray! I knew you wouldn't, Piglet. But um, I believe there's still one more act to appear in our circus, Piglet. There is. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the highlight of our show, we present for your amazement and wonder, that high wire ham, the daring young pig on the flying trapeze. What? <laughs> And so Piglet got to join the circus after all. And he and everyone else in the wood came to see that stories are wonderful and powerful things. Oh, my, my, let's see. I'm awarding you most shiny. And you, my lovely, I'm presenting you with most Juicy-looking. Hello, Rabbit. How are things in the garden? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I was, I was just giving ribbons to some of my prize-winning tomatoes. Ah, yes, like the ribbons in our first story, each of which, as we learned, were awarded for something special. Uh, we also learned about writing stories today. So we did. And also that when you write a story, you're an author. Uh, uh, now, you, my uh, little one, um, let, uh, let me see now, you... Oh, I know, you win the ribbon for best junior tomato. <laughs> well done, Rabbit. Good day, then. Good day, Mr. Narrator. Now's the time to close the book. Though we've just begun, it's true. We'll say goodbye until another day. Another, another day with new adventures on the way. They're on the way. We're on our way. So off we go. We won't be far. We'll be waiting here for you. With hills to run and higher trees to climb. And someone there to catch you. In the nick of time, so it's goodbye for now To all of you We'll meet again when you all come Into the book of goodbye for now Story never ends Back in the hundred